Hey guys, uh, this is uh, vlog number 21 or 22. I think it's 22. Um, I'm already out and about. Uh, I kind of wanted to just do a quick video on this one. Um, I got some stuff put in the truck. I took the, or I had the passenger seat taken out and put a microwave and a cooler. And I even got a new seat. So a two-tone seat. Um, since I'm going to be going out uh, over states again, so I'm going to be going over the road. And um, I'm here at the port. I'm picking up three little excavators. Um, I'm waiting in line right now. We're outside. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to kind of give you, like, a look at all the, you know, all the stuff that I got in here. And then I also got me uh, my tortoise that I bought. Um, I bought another tortoise. It's a mountain tortoise. It's a brown mountain tortoise. And um, she's riding along with me. I say she because mostly when you get hatchlings, they, they incubate them at uh, to temperature to be a female. So I'm going to say she, but I'm hoping if it's a male, it'd be awesome because I think um, these mountain brown tortoises are going to be uh, next to, next to uh, kind of be popular with the uh, tortoise community. I got a phone call. Let me see who it is, and then I'll, uh, I'll flip the camera around and we'll continue. All right, guys? So here's my tortoise. Um, she's a brown mountain tortoise. She still has a mark on her shell. I'm going to have to wash her. Um, she's... She's she's uh, riding along with me. I got her in a little tub with some uh, some substrate. It's nice and moist to keep her kind of uh, moist. But I'm gonna step outside here in a little bit and get let her get some sun. Um, the reason I have to bring her with me is because I can't leave her at the house, and especially if I'm not home for kind of a couple days at a time, because I have to soak her uh, once a day to make sure she's getting hydrated and, um, and make sure she's get she gets good food. So she's gonna ride with me for quite some time until she gets big enough where I can make her little enclosure next to the other two girls so there she is she's got her eyes closed but uh, let me put her down and then I'm gonna show you the uh, fridge my seat and all that stuff alright guys so give me one second alright so we're back um, it was the dealership but they didn't answer but it did the, the, the lady at the front desk answered but she didn't say uh, call me so I'll see if they'll call me back but Choco Mio is up here I need to take her outside as soon as I get done with this little part but yeah so the port is over here see the boat there's a boat right there so but we have to wait out, out here now and, uh, I guess those guys are on lunch those are the guys that come talk to us but uh, let me get back to the uh, fridge do the fridge tour so let's do the microwave first so there's the microwave nothing to it The only thing with the fridge, it uh, it hits the seat right here. We got some uh, cold brew coffee already mixed with uh, um, like uh, milk or not milk, but like coffee creamer. I got my boiled eggs, some hot dogs. I got choco meals. Um, I chop up her spring mix really good because she's little, so I chop it up really good. I got some rotisserie chicken, some potato salad. A couple of chocolates. Where are they at? Where did I put them? And then, so, so the the thing with not being in, being able to open the door all the way, it's kind of hard to get in my little fridge here. It's alright. Oh my god! Water bottle. It's kind of hard because I'm like trying to hold the camera, and I need to uh, vacuum the carpet like hardcore. I got. Gatorade, tea, and ketchup and mayonnaise. So not much in here. Uh, yeah. But that'll keep me from uh, stopping and buying food on the road and just wasting money. So that should help with that. Even though I did lose a passenger seat. But it doesn't matter. I would show, I would show you the back. But it's kind of a mess because I haven't got organized. And then I got some Missouri... For my tortoise, I gotta feed that to her too. Oh, there she is. Uh, I know this is a quick little video, guys, but um, I just wanted to show you the fridge and the microwave since I'm gonna be heading out of town here.
I kind of ran into a little snag. Um, the machines were actually bigger than what they said they were. So I'm waiting to see if I want to take two or take one, but I can't take all three. Uh, so she's eating. Got a little bit of sun. The sun keeps the sun's going, or the shadow's going that way. So, and then I got some water for her to drink. I got up some the pellets of Missouri, Missouri, Missouri. I'm gonna see if she's gonna eat them. But yep. Yeah, so I'm waiting for a phone call or a text back and see what happens, and then I'm gonna continue chaining. And there's a boat to the left of me, but yep. Here's the seat. Uh, she's a little bit wider than my last one, but she sits lower. Um, it's like a peanut butter and black. Uh, she's pretty comfortable. Uh, I'm still waiting on the phone call back. See what they want to do with uh, either hall one or hall two. But yeah, so the legacy is wider than the other one. Uh, I like it. It's nice. All right, so I'm gonna just take the two to San Angelo. Uh, I'm gonna hook back up, and then I'll take some pictures. But I think I'm gonna take pictures once I get out of here, cause uh, it's already getting late in the day. So let me go ahead and chain up. I got two, so they're roughly about like 24,000 pounds together. So it's not that heavy. Um, I'm gonna chain them up. I'm gonna hook up, and then I'm gonna get out of the port and get all that stuff. So. Uh, I'll take some pictures and I'll stop later on and then I'll uh, do a securement video. And uh, it's hot, man. I got the truck off. I don't want to burn too much fuel. This fuel out here is expensive. And uh, Chocomiles, I had her in the sun. I put her back in the cab and she's like staring at me right now. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get all this stuff done and then uh, we'll, we'll come back. All right, guys? I uh, stopped to get some fuel. Check it on the chains. Um, I, right now I got four binders per machine, but really I could have ran two binders per machine and then one on the attachment and then one on the attachment like that. So I just did a little extra. I got my half inch chains in the middle here. And then I got my board deck back here on the boom. Come straight down on it. And then went across. Make sure you're not hitting no lines. You got two going back, and then these going back this way. So you got this one going that way, and that one coming this way. Stopped to get fuel and got some dinner. I still got about five hours to drive. So I'm going to run it as far as I can, and then we'll see how it goes in the morning. I'm going to go and load in the morning and see if we can find another load. But So what happened was I could have had all three of them on here. If I would have had been able to put one machine back here, if I would have put one machine on top of here, but I need I need to get fenders put on the trailer, and then I could have put a machine there, put a machine there, and had a machine here. So it would have worked. It would have been tight, but it would have worked. But let me go check the fuel real quick. Hey guys, uh, I stopped to uh, check the chains on the. Uh on the machines, there's the truck looking all bright. I'm actually at a rest area over here, West Texas. Um, I don't know if you can see the lights. There's a little town going on with some trucks. But uh, yeah, I stopped real quick. I'm, I'm actually gonna, here in the next 40 miles, I'm gonna start looking for somewhere to shut it down and go to bed. Uh, Cause I think once I get further out to West Texas, it's gonna be harder to find anything. So the next town, it's like 40 miles away, so I'm going to stop over there. But I had to stop and check the chains. Uh, one chain was loose, which is the very back, back here. Uh, you really can't tell. I had the light on and everything, but I turned it off. Went ahead and chained it down. It was loose. My board that I laid down on the bottom on the frame, on the tra trailer, and laid the boom on, the board kind of slipped out. Uh, all the bouncing. Uh, San Antonio, going through San Antonio is really bouncy, and I think that's what knocked it loose. Uh, there's one of the machines there got all the lights on but uh yeah i'm gonna clean my hands up there's actually a little picnic table i'm gonna go look at maybe i can get some footage of it but uh let me get as i get closer it's gonna get louder so let me back up some 
And then you can't see the stars. It's like the other video that I did. It was like way out in West Texas by like Marathon and like Alpine. Uh, you couldn't see nothing. But now I got more lights on the truck. Uh, maybe I'll put more lights on the trailer. I think it'll be pretty neat. Can you see the truck? Oh, yeah. I'll put more lights on it. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, let me wash my hands. I'm going to go explore over here, and I'm going to take off and look for somewhere to sleep. I'll see you all in the morning. Hey, guys. Here I am um, sitting. I actually just got unloaded, and I came to a little truck stop. Um, I was waiting for a phone call to see if I can find something. But, um, yeah, guys, uh, I'll see you on the next video.